Want to ride my python? <laughs> Just recovering what this is all about. This is about the King of Customs competition that Holiday Actually, is running. Actually, I think they changed it. It's Battle of the Kings now. So, okay, so the King of Customs Battle of the Kings. the Battle of the Kings. That's it. But here's the great thing. This is a voting contest. So when this bag's put together, and you see it's gonna go up against other bags, but you guys get to vote on it. Which basically means we can kick the living hell out of everyone else in this competition. We can make the Boom Baby bag absolutely dominate simply by you guys click, click, clicking through. And we can then take this bag, it'll go over to France from there and get judged in further competitions. But the main thing is you're gonna be able to come and see this bike. You're gonna be able to see me, come here and see Sahail, see the whole venue, March the 12th. So we're gonna have a complete meet here. Everybody's gonna be welcome. I'm gonna be here. It's gonna run the full day. There's gonna be music, there's gonna be food. We're gonna be videoing, having fun and revealing the bike. <laughs> morning guys and I'm off back to the Harley Davidson garage and we're going to pick up today some fenders and the tank to go and take to the hydro dippers later in the week which I'm also going to take you guys along to see which will be super interesting because if you haven't seen hydro dipping it is a really really cool process so we're going to head to Leeds now the weather is kind of a little bit frosty got out on the bike yesterday which was great fun but now it's time to go and see where we're at with this build uh, so the other day, if you're not following me on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, why are you not following me on Instagram? Lex underscore fitness. I put up a selfie, I was wearing some skinny jeans. So I thought I'd show you the outfit of the day today. It's cold outside, so I've got my beanie on. Look how long my hair's getting now. It's pretty darn long. It's actually down below. My chin finishes here. Longest I've ever grown my hair. And I also have on what will be launched 24th of February. That's it, we're announcing the launch as it was. 24th of Feb. And this is one of the bad boys that's going on. We've got the tapered curved hem. Fitted T with the oil print. Oh hell yeah, the oil print on the back. And then look, skinny, skinny, skinny jeans, cuz that's how I freaking roll. If you don't like skinny jeans as a man and you have a serious problem with it, address your life. Seriously. Turn around. So you put you go and set the fire about this there. So lovely. Do a page Hathaway. And, uh, do a Nikki Black pose. <laughs> yeah, how did, how did. You have to look sexy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, check it out. People, somebody thought I photoshopped my legs on the picture. Are you for real? It was a selfie. Get a grip, people. Seriously, how far are people going to, to now just try and undermine people? Photoshopping selfies? What? Retro Pegasus 83s. Anyway, that is all. See you when we get to Leeds. Oh, and we are here. Leeds, Charlie Davidson. And look at them. Bikes are out to play. So, the bike has been stripped. New parts ordered. New bits put on. Let's go see what it looks like. Hello, hello. <gasps> Give me five minutes. That's the lady in charge of all the, uh, the lines and what we're going to be picking and shooting with. So obviously they're going to set me up with what they want me to be what well, they think is going to look good, what I think is going to look good with the bike. But then in turn, we're also going to probably, we'll probably do some shoots and photographs and a lot of the other stuff. So that'll go out on media and things like that. You can see and what I'm going to do, what I'm going to try and do is work out a little deal for you guys with her for this franchise. So you guys will be able to deal specifically with the Leeds franchise and come in and you'll be sorted out and looked after and we'll work out how that's going to go. But um, getting it from here, associate with me, you're going to get it at a better deal. Those of you that missed the first video, there will be a link in the description for the first one. That's We're just going to go and take a look at the original bike that this will have started out as. Start it up, let you hear it, and then we're going to go and see what's been done to it since the last time we got here. But obviously the bike we're going to look at now isn't their bike that we started with. It's going to be another one, but it is a Harley Davidson 883 Iron. That was the donor bike, that's what we call it. So we're going to go look at what the donor bike would have looked like. Um, I think this one maybe has a bit of a gold paint job on it, which the other one didn't, it was all black. Um, and then we'll switch and flip and show you what we've done for the custom. Let's have a look at that front profile. This is what I want you to take a look at. That front profile there, this is what we're going to change about this bike. We're going to take something that looks lean and mean and make it meaty.
so you can hear it. This bike does actually have the Screaming Eagle exhaust on it, which we have on ours, and we knew that. But this is basically the donut. So this is the 883 iron. This one obviously has the, the gold metallic. The one we used donut was all black, but this was pretty much what we were first starting out with. You see it's quite a lean profile. It's different, isn't it? Very easy to turn. Like, yeah. A small spike is such a sharp reaction, and this has got so much more kind of turn room on it. So there you go, that was our starting point. So now we'll shoot inside. Here and it was a Monday, so there was no magic happening. Yes. Uh, today, the magic is happening. And there's magic. <laughs> magic <laughs> bikes, there's little elves at work, yeah, building presents. There's not an elf, his name's Declan, <laughs> Steve. So these are the boys who are going to be doing a lot of the work um, on the custom bike. You saw what it looked like before outside, minus the gold. This is what it looks like at the moment. Yeah, it's not <laughs> I know it looks scary. It, it, look, it, looks, it looks like it's, it's been in a wreck, but we promise you this is all thought through. So you can see it's been stripped down. We've got everything off it ready for going for a powder coating. We've got tanks and fenders, which are gonna come with me today. I'm gonna to take those for some hydro dipping. We've changed the cam cover for a nice gloss one and it's a lower, doesn't come down as far. So we've painted the oil pump black. We've put a sticker on that so that when it's behind the drill, it'll just be a subtle. That's nice. Touch. Customs cover, yeah. Put the forward controls on. So this is a big difference maker, putting the forward controls on, so that changes yeah. your entire seating position. So yeah. standard's kind of what, here? Yes, on those bumps yeah. there. So we've shifted them a good half a foot forward, yes. that gives you that kind of, that, that kind sit of chilled back, out, relax. sit back, relaxed look. And we've stripped the cylinders and the barrels off uh, to, for the push rod tubes to be sent for painting. Well, we changed the bars to a bit more of a sit back, relaxed, they were a little bit more tilted and up. We've dropped them and slammed them just a touch, but nothing too crazy so that we're not hunched forward on the bike. So it's still a comfortable riding position. So there's your cylinders. Which were originally silver. Yeah. All blacks murdered out. Yeah. Hell yes. And these bad boys sit high up here. As you can see on that one over there. Excuse the noise of my broken camera as it zooms in. That's what happens when you drop it three times in one day. Yeah. So we don't like usually do a lot of chopping at least, but we did this time because it's a special job and because we love you. <laughs> the idea behind our bike is that we're going to beef it out. So what we did was we took the tank from a 48, uh, chopped some sections of it and added them to the iron. And as Declan is nicely modelling so now... Remember, the, skip back to the other bike here. You can see how the tank's nice and slim. Skip back to us. Now check out the chopped, redone tank. Look. Beef. Beasted it. Beasted it. If you have a look here, so you can see the, the original. Bottom, that's the original tank underneath it. So all we wanted to do was add some lean gains uh, and just beef it out. What it's yeah. done is it added the angle that the 48 had, okay? And it's just beefed up the original tank. So you can so see the original tank would have ended here. So they've added a good, two I'd inches. say two inches either side. So when you're looking at the profile from the front, this makes a huge, huge difference to the way the tank looks. And also a really great Instagram picture. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the beefy tank that comes after the relaxed bars. So you can see how we're getting that nice sleek profile with the height of the tank. And if I come around here, this is where the difference is. So Look at that. Big. Already you can see how much thicker it looks in comparison. Hell yeah. This is standard. Well, it's been chopped down now, so it's a lot, a lot smaller and shorter. So as it sits on the bike. So this was originally come right down. Yeah. It'd have had that little bit of more arc on it. 
See, because we still want it to be a tour bike, because we know um, Alexis is going to attract a lot of attention uh, from the ladies and stuff like that. So, Let's be honest, it's uh, any other block. Because it's going to be no, right, mate. Yeah, no, all right. <laughs> no, no, it's only really if the lady lady. decides to jump on the back of it, then we're probably going to need some we're kind of seat set up for her. So we're having the custom seats put on, but what we're going to do is have it. it it's ingenious. I haven't seen it before. Basically. The, the pillion seat is just completely detachable, no clips or nothing. It's literally, is it like a sucker? Stick sucker? on pad, yeah. Basically, but it, it doesn't shift when it's on, but it's amazing. You can just pop it off. So, the reason we've kept that back fender there to a certain length is to accommodate that rear seat, but we can take that off and give it that single seat look as well, yeah. which is pretty much how it's going to be ridden all the time. Lane's going to be on it on very sunny days, going for a cup of tea somewhere and a nice little tootle, but for tours, it's going to be a single seat beast. So. Yeah. That's a, a really unique last thing because we didn't know if that was going to be possible. Well, I didn't know, he knew. And when we came in, great little add on. And it's a cool because it's like a, a mini little seat at the back, super comfy, but uh, quite a tight, easy addition. Everybody for the last two years has been chopping off the rear sections of the fender and bobbing the back end, but we couldn't do that because it needs to support weight still. So the only time we would really chop the back end was if we wanted to slam the back end down. But this, we're looking for meeting it out. Making it meeting it out? <laughs> so we're going to beef it out. And we need to keep it so it's comfortable for two people to ride on because you know we don't want to lose that. Stock, stock cans and these are the screaming eagles, so you can see blacked out, whole different sound, different note to these as well, a lot deeper, a lot more of a rumble. As you heard outside, the bike outside had those on already. So these are all parts of the coming away, being adapted, changed. See, because we're giving the bike at stage one, we're also changing the air filter. So this is the new air filter that's gonna go on it, was on the other side. And what we've done was we use the joker parts. And so what we've had, everything has been blacked out. Um, so these have all just come back from the painters. Mm -hmm. um, so we've black, literally blacked out everything that could be blacked out on There's the bike. So it coated. was a nice shiny chrome, but we've just blacked everything out now. We don't want too much chrome, we want the black. Yeah. Murdered out. So an engine's basically an air pump, okay? So when you add the Screaming Eagle air filter and you change the exhaust system, what it is, is allowing more air in, okay? You've got the electrics that all need to be changed, so the tuning's changed, and you've got more air out at higher pressure. So basically what it does is it gives the ride a nicer sound, and also a better response on the throttle than standard. You know, we've said it, we've said the boa, but we're not going to give too much away, but um, when that goes on, it's going to really pick up, and like we say, it's going to be like riding a python. <laughs> That's a t-shirt! That's a t-shirt right there. Hey baby, want to ride my python? It's all the small details, all the little things that we're going to be going along here, and putting our own little personal touches in, handlebars, shocks, covers, everything, even down to springs and coils and whatever we think is going to suit. But basically what we're looking at here is the beginning of a murdered out snakeskin boa style beefed up beast. Yeah. An 883 like you've never seen. There's going to be food, fun, it's going to, it's going to be a good day with your whole bike reveal and it's, it's just going to be a great time for everyone to come together, check out the store, check out the bikes and come and have a, come and meet me, have a chat. If you watch the movie, so what we're trying to say is the reason Harley are doing this is to kind of, to shed off that, that, that kind of perception that they have of it being old guys on bikes and it certainly isn't that anymore, you know, especially with, with everything coming through, they're being definitely more fashionable to ride bikes now, motor vlogging seems picking up. Obviously, the fashion side of bikes is picking up in a huge way. We're seeing that a lot of bike fashion is crossing over into mainstream fashion with the biker jeans coming out. So with the whole new Harley range of clothing, the black labels, the bikes being so customizable, that's what I want to show you guys is how bikes aren't dangerous or something to be scared of that your mum tells you you can't do. It's about enjoying time with friends, freedom. It's a lifestyle choice. Come over here and see what it's all about. This isn't an out of reach dream. It's just something everyone can achieve. And we're showing that with this build, you know, it, this is not a 40, 50,000 pound build. It's within a... It's a 12,995 budget. 12,995 budget. So this is a really, really realistic, fun, ambitious thing to, to get you guys involved with. I'm happy that you, you're all obviously taking on board what we're showing here and uh, you seem to be excited about it. I'm definitely excited about it. So we'll see you here, March 12th. But before that, you're gonna see a few more videos and you're gonna see that beast come to life. On a steel horse Make that point here as well, okay? This is not. Yeah, like, I'm not his this father. This is not styles. <laughs> it's not styles. Okay.